Alrighty, peoples, welcome back to the vlog. We are back making some more videos, and uh, today's video will be a little bit special just because it's about the process and kind of the sneak peek of me becoming a private pilot. So oh, first things first, uh, I am no professional in this. I am still learning. I'm a student with only a handful of hours <laughs> uh, practicing so far. Uh, it's just something I've been really enjoying and something I've loved doing. Um, again, not a professional, just my own experience of how things are going and how I'm liking them and how I'm understanding it, I guess, right? The school that I'm going to for this is uh, EFI Flight School. It's located, or at least this section is located here in uh, French Valley. There's a little backpack to give you for the kit. Check that out little backpack they give you with uh, this online training course you got to do and some other information that, that you need. I actually don't know what EFI stands for. Executive Flight Institute? I could be wrong. I don't know. I could very easily look it up, but that's, uh, that requires work. I don't really want to do that. So <laughs> we're, we're going to go with that. Executive Flight Institute. We're going to go with that. I've been doing it for like the past month already uh, and I've really enjoyed it. I've loved it. Um, and it's kind of explain you guys a little bit of the process. Um, I mentioned already there's an online portion of it. It's like an online school. Uh, and the cool thing, or at least I think it's cool, uh, about the training program and the online training program is that you do it at the same time as you're practicing behind the wheel, right? In actually in the cockpit of the plane, uh, practicing with your instructor up in the air, right? You do it at the same time. And I think the goal of that is to kind of get a knowledge base at home and then go actually do it in, in person with your instructor, right? In a safe environment. Uh, so I think it's kind of cool how it goes hand in hand and you can do it at the same time. Recently, I've been practicing just my like landings and the touch and goes uh, just because I've been needing to practice with that. Uh, pretty soon, hopefully, I'll be able to start uh, solo flighting, which is basically, you know, kind of like in the name, right? I'm going to go up there by myself, solo. <laughs> Uh, and that's part of the process to become a pilot, right? You need a certain number of hours, a certain number of flights, uh, flying solo before you can get your actual license. All right, so I promised my flight instructor I wouldn't talk bad about him, uh, so I'll make sure I keep my comments in the low. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. He's, he's a great guy. He's a great, te great teacher. He's been teaching me a lot of things, and he has a lot of patience with me also. Um, honestly, really great instructor. I, I tried out a couple before I went to him, um, but he is by far my preferred instructor. I, I really like his process and how he explains everything. So, shout out to you, Cody. Anyways, back to what I've been doing. Um, one of the things that you got to keep up with is it's called a pilot log. I mentioned it in my last video. Uh, I had to go get a sign and get it updated. Uh, basically, is every time you go up there, um, you jot down what you did, uh, where you flew, the plane that you flew, the date that you flew, uh, and how many hours you're up there, and how many times you landed. Um, and then basically your instructor signs off saying, oh, you know, this is true, we worked on this, blah, 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 my signature, right? I only have like 16 to 17 hours. Uh, you need a minimum of 40 as required by the FAA before you can get your license or your certificate uh, to fly alone. As far as uh, flight controls go and like what you have to, to move, maneuver around in the, in the air, um, they vary from plane to plane, but basically they're all the same, right? I specifically fly the smaller planes, so those are the ones that you learn in. They're called the Cessnas, Cessna 150. And as far as those go, um, some of the flight controls, and again, these are general, so they're kind of summed up. Um, starting from the front, you have the propeller. All right, it was good, people. Um, I was editing the vlog, and I was like, you know what? It's kind of boring. You can't see the planes, you can't see anything. So I was like, you know what? Let me get out here and show them uh, what I was talking about. So, uh, so I'm just going to kind of take you around the plane and show you kind of what I'm talking about um, in terms of the different mechanics of the plane. I know it's kind of hard to hear, and it's kind of windy, so apologies for that. Got the propeller here in the front. Inside of the wing, you have the flaps. You move up and down when you're landing. Um, and then up here, these are the ailerons. This section of the wing, uh, they move up and down uh, in opposition with the other side, right? Uh, those help the plane to turn and to bank. We also have the elevators here, little horizontal ele elevators. Those help you pitch the nose up or down. And then the rudder helps you, uh, the correct term is yaw, uh, from left to right, kind of like a swivel. Yeah, that's the basic basics of the plane, right? I mean, super quick. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail with anything just because with, like everything else, there's specifics. And uh, one, I don't want to say it wrong. Two, my instructor. And three, I'm just doing this for fun so you guys can see what it's like. Um, but yeah, back to the regular video now. Also, something else that's pretty cool is I bought a headset. Brand is David Clark. And uh, here it is. Kind of headset. Put them on. Let's make this official. I can't hear anything. They're pretty uh, noise canceling. You use them in the plane to kind of communicate with one another um, just because the engine is very loud uh, and you definitely don't want to have that ringing in your ears and you want to be able to hear other people also, right? They plug into the plane with these little 
connectors. There are a bunch of things that are like kind of spooky about flying and recently uh, the landings have been getting to me. They've been getting in my head and just under my skin and uh, I, I like them. I've been enjoying them and I hate them at the same time. <laughs> and uh, here, I'll show you guys right now. I've been having a hard time like keeping keeping it straight, keeping the plane straight and, and I guess level um, with the runway, making sure I aim for the numbers, I hit the center line every time. It's been a bit difficult for me to just really grasp and, and get down. It's kind of what I've been working on for the past couple lessons, uh, just making sure I get that down, make sure I'm comfortable doing that, uh, just because I want to make sure I'm okay with that aspect right before going uh, soloing on my own. I've also been trying to work on getting like audio in the actual cockpit um, just because like I mentioned you're wearing the headset and talk to the microphone on there so you can't really hear anything because the GoPro is just attached to the plane either behind us or in the front uh, on the windshield so you can't hear us. Um, so I've been trying to find a way I can record our audio and what we're talking about so you guys can hear our conversations. Um, I think it would be really cool but up to this point I don't really have the means for that yet. Uh, maybe in the foreseeable future I will but I don't know, who knows. For now I'll just kind of explain everything that we're doing. <laughs> but yeah I probably won't film more like vlogs of about the plane and about flying and stuff until I actually get my license uh, just because I don't want to take away from my learning experience I'd rather focus on that and getting that training uh, rather than making videos right because it can be pretty distracting and I don't want to shift my focus while I'm up there because like I mentioned before it's dangerous and um, even aside from that I just want to make sure I learn and grasp everything I can while I can and as I mentioned in previous video I am also moving to Merced uh, in this upcoming fall semester so that has been a whole process that's been going on as well and I've I'll show you guys all that too. I have a, a room and a house that I'll be renting. Um, so I'll definitely show you guys the whole moving process and how that is. But for now, that is it for today's video. Uh, thanks guys for watching and let me know the other things you guys want to see. Um, I love doing these videos and uh, I don't do them enough. So every time I get to do them, it's, it's great and I really enjoy them. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching again and uh, I'll see you guys later.